They might be two of the most famous on-screen boxers ever. Sylvester Stallone as perennial underdog Rocky Balboa and Robert De Niro as the real-life raging bull Jake LaMotta. These two movie legends go at it in the ring and on the screen for the new movie, Grudge Match. They put on the kid gloves with me for their Nightline interview. Your punch sits on your shoulder. There's not much that can match the shoulder. thrill of learning how to throw a punch from the most iconic movie boxer of all time. Get ready. But it gets even better because to my right, the other most famous big screen fighter of our generation. Push with your shoulder. Whoa! In one corner, Sylvester Stallone as Rocky. In the other corner, Robert De Niro as Jake LaMotta in Raging Bull. Right here. Now, all these years later, they're in the ring together in the new movie, Grudge Match. The concept, two old rivals decide they need to settle a score. Please, I'm begging you, I'm begging you. This is our last chance. Let's finish this once and for all. Throwing punches at each other and taking a few jabs at the roles that made them famous. Whose idea was it? It certainly wasn't my idea. It is fooling with two boxing icons of yeah. our generation, of the generation before, and probably the next generation. It's Raging Bull and Rocky and a head-on collision. And is it going to be cartoonish? Is it going to be Raging Bullwinkle against Rocky the Flying Squirrel? I don't know. <laughs> Stallone is fiercely protective of his iconic role. The film that won three Oscars spawned five sequels and is often named as one of the best films of all time. Well, I passed for a year. And then they call again another year. And it wasn't until he called, and I couldn't get him off the phone. He wouldn't take no for an answer. I just thought it would be an interesting thing for us to do. I said, don't worry, it'll be OK. But he kept saying, <laughs> I, I, how do you know? Because I know it. A leap of faith, considering they'd had a real life rivalry dating back 40 years, when Stallone's Rocky faced off with De Niro's Taxi Driver for Best Picture. Rocky and, and, and Taxi Driver came out the same year, and they were against each other, you know, competing in the Oscars. And, and here we are, almost, what, 76? Almost 40 years later in the ring. And the winner is Rocky. And to all the Rockies in the world, I love you. Since the new film is called Grudge Match, we wondered, do you hold grudges? I, I don't hold uh, grudges really, or I, if I hold them, I get over them, and then I, I'll, you know, I, I don't like to keep that that energy in myself towards other people. How about you? Grudges? Are you serious? Yeah. For real? Yeah. Oh, so we like each other now. You two could be the new odd couple. I there may be something in this. We have a big <laughs> Listen, Sheriff, I'm really sorry to have awoken you from your slumber, but it's over. Now, the two have teamed up before in the 1997 movie Copland. But getting into the boxing ring was a lot different, especially for Stallone, who says he first had to lighten up a little bit. I didn't know if I was being a little too protective or precious about, if you want to call it a legacy or, or something that we built. But finally, he was ready to go there, even willing to take a swipe at one of Rocky's most memorable scenes. Hey, hey, what, what are you doing? We're just here to buy a little dinner. You don't have to punch everything. Got it. Who was the most out of shape? Me. <laughs> really? Yeah. I just didn't feel like working out for a while. So I just stayed out of the gym a year. He works out every day. You're tough. No, no, no. So what about the punching? Because it sure looks like you're both getting hit pretty hard. There's some body shots here and there. <laughs> but nobody got hurt? No. <laughs> I thought it should have been a fight to the death. But they said, ah, kind of like bring the audience down. It's a Christmas film. And that is so Stallone. Big, bold, grabbing the world by the throat. De Niro, reserved, quiet, intense. I wondered where these qualities came from. Just my upbringing. My father was pound for pound a, just a tough person. I picked up some very bad habits. Even to this day, I'm still unlearning things. There will be moments where I'll get angry and I still, and I'm, I hear him. I mean, I literally have the same speech pattern. And my wife will bring up and go, your father's back. I go, ah. What did you learn from your father? To me, he had a, a lot of principles and he was, uh, 
very clear about what he felt. An he was an artist. Painter. Yeah. He just always did what he thought he should do, what he believed in, and he didn't, when things changed, when the art scene sort of changed and the, what was coming out, he just kept doing his thing. I came early. I wanted to see my old friend. He's been ducking me for 30 years. I missed him. I love the very beginning where you're going to make the video game yeah. version of the fight. Just get out of the way. Try and move me. Go ahead. And you come out and what will, we can, that's a leap. I think we can agree to call a ridiculous costume. <laughs> that was a leap of faith, okay? No, 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 man! What are you doing? No, no, Where's you know what that? Where's oh, no. We sat down with them on a snowy New York morning, surrounded by photographs of fighters from the past. On behalf of movie fans and fight fans everywhere, if Rocky got in the ring with Jake, what would be the outcome? Pain. I'm serious. How would that have come out? Oh, my God. They would the have to call 911. <laughs> First of all, Jake LaMotta was Rocky. When I modeled the character, I used a lot of Jake LaMotta. He's right there in your face. He knows he's going to take five to get one, but he's indomitable. Welcome. As for who wins in the new movie, you'll have to go to the theater to find out. <laughs> no, actually, they shot it uh, a couple of ways so that so nobody would tell anybody. I don't even know the answer. In the film, there's a great line. It goes something like, a great performer knows when it's time to exit the stage. You guys are far away from that now. But is it something you think about? Yeah, but I'd like to add to that. A great performer knows when it's time to exit the stage, but don't do it. Yeah. What's the rush? <laughs> What's the alternative? What's the alternative? Right? Is better, better, better. What's the alternative? Let's hope neither one of these greats finds an alternative anytime soon.